Hey there, guys and gals. This is kind of part two from the last lesson that we did. We're, we're breaking up solving one-step equations into two lessons in this pre-algebra course. For this, <coughs> excuse me, this lesson, we are going to be doing uh, solving equations by multiplying and dividing. The last one we did adding and subtracting. We're gonna dive in and do a handful of examples and and then we're gonna be through. We'll see you in the video. Here we go. Oh wait, the video already started. What the heck am I talking about? I don't even know. Let's jump in with some examples, shall we? It, it, it would help if I had some color, a color that's not the background color. Don't you think? That would make sense. Then you might be able to see what I'm writing. Examples. Example one, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So, first one is 4x equals negative 48. Okay, that's a weird looking 8. What the heck was I writing? Something something bumpy on my thing there. I don't know. Or, my, or I need, I don't know. I don't know. You don't got to worry about it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Don't get it up. Just sit down. Write your, write your notes. It's okay. <laughs> so we're going to follow the same steps we learned in our last video. If you not, have not watched the last video, you might want to click the link in the iCard so you can get those steps. So we're going to look at what's attached, how's it attached, and do the opposite to get rid of it. Right? One, two, three, punch. So what's attached? The four. How is it attached? So we need to remember that if we've got a number right next to the x, then that's multiplication. So this four is multiplied times the x. So to op to the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're gonna divide four on both sides, right? Divide four on that side, divide four, four on that side. Four divided by four is one, right? So that cancels. Leaving us with just X, we're bringing down what we haven't touched. We're keeping that equals nice and lined up, nice and neat. Negative 48 divided by positive 4 is negative 12. Negative divided by positive is a negative. Signs are different, comes out negative. 48 divided by 4 is 12, so negative 12. Easy peasy, right? So, next example, example number 2. This one is going to be y over 4 equals negative 8. Now, we have to remember something else. Right? Kind of like remembering that a number right next to a variable is multiplication. Well, we have to remember here that a fraction is the same as dividing. So this 4 is divided into the y. Right, to get rid of it, so what's the opposite of dividing? We're gonna multiply. So we're gonna multiply times four. If we do it on this side, we gotta do it on this side. That's a bad way to write that, because that looks like point, right? How about like that? That's probably better. So four over four is also one, so that cancels, right? Leaving us with just a Y on this side equals and then negative time negative eight times four is negative 32. all right let's do another one i think this is the last one yep last example got three examples in the last video three examples in this video easy peasy no problem okay so let's do number three all right so let's do a fraction this time uh-oh uh-oh biscadios it's not really that big a deal i'm gonna leave lots of space over here because we're gonna stick some stuff over there spoiler alert negative three-fifths x equals negative six all right so we've got a number next to a variable. Fractions are just numbers, right? Fractions are just numbers. They're not magic. They're not anything crazy. Fractions are just numbers. Don't freak out. So if a number is right next to a variable, that's multiplication, right? So how do we get rid of multiplication? Well, we divide. Now, how do we divide fractions? 
we multiply by the reciprocal. So to get rid of a fraction multiplied onto the onto a variable, we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of that fraction because that's the same as dividing that fraction, right? So we're going to multiply times negative 5 thirds. If we do it to this side, we got to do it to that side too, right? Multiply times negative, <coughs> excuse me, 5 thirds. So these cancel, right? Leaving us with just an X over here. Bring down our equals, keep it nice and neat and tidy. Now over here, we can do some pre-reducing, right? Because three and six are both divisible by three. Six divided by three is two. Three divided by three is one, right? That's no big deal. Negative times negative is a positive. So then we've got Ne uh, we've oops what have I done no I don't want to do that hold on go away thanks thanks for playing so negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10 easy peasy lemon squeezy I need to find some other phrase there because that one just gets old and everyone knows it I need something more unique in the comments below, give me a new catchphrase for we're done with this problem and it wasn't so bad. Something to replace easy peasy lemon squeezy. Caption con, no, phrase, catchphrase con contest and go. So that's it for that video. Thank you guys for watching. If you're one of my students, do your homework and we'll see you in class. Thanks for being here. If you're not one of my students and you're just joining us on YouTube, Remember that you can check out everything that we're doing at EmberLearningLabs.com. We are offering all of the lectures for this pre-algebra course for free here on YouTube. As such, it would be very helpful if you gave us a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.